What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome. My name is Frances Michelle. Super excited that you're here. Super excited that you clicked on this video. So today's video, I will be sharing with you guys some of my current favorites. I feel like I haven't done this video in a very long time and I haven't sit down to really talk to you guys. And I feel like this is the time. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you current favorites that I've been obsessing with and it includes beauty and skincare. I will eventually try to do a lifestyle and fashion um, favorites for you guys because I have a lot of fashion and live things that I've been using lately that I really want to share with you guys. So if you guys want to see what current products I've been obsessing with and I think they're bomb.com and they're going to change your life forever, <laughs> all you have to do is grab that snack and go ahead and come watch. <laughs> Alright, so first thing is a first. I have to really thought, talk to you guys about these things right here, guys. Yes, you know what they are. Yes. These are the Desi Parkins and Key Australia High Keys. Like, yes, boo. Look at this glasses, though. <laughs> you guys, these glasses are like bomb.com. Makes me look fabulous. <laughs> like, I go from a three. I'm not trying to be conceited here. <laughs> I go from a three to a 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding guys. These glasses are bomb.com. Look at these glasses. These are the army green ones and I am totally obsessed with the glasses. The other ones I got are the um, rose gold and gun metal because I'm a rose gold freak. But I don't know, like the army greens are like bomb. But these are like, whoa, yes, boo, yes. Give it to me, oh, yes. <laughs> Um, these are the gun metal and rose gold. I think they are so so cute. I love the fact that they come in a um, in a clear pouch, and I have to force myself to keep them in this clear pouch because they are quite expensive for glasses. They're sixty five dollars a pair. Um, they're sixty five dollars a pair, and you know, like I have to learn how to take care of myself because I don't take care of glasses. You guys lately has asked me what have been my favorite, um, what has been my skincare routine, and that is one video that I eventually have to record for you guys. My skincare is very easy, it's not complex, and I'm just gonna show you pretty much the things that I've been loving for skincare. So the first thing I've been using to clean my face is the, uh, this is the IT cleanser, and this is super, super, super good. This is a confidence in a cleanser for all skin types and it's skin transforming hydrating cleansing serum. So it, it helps you with hydration and whatnot and I just absolutely love this thing right here. Also to remove my makeup when I have like a lot of makeup, like I went OD on my makeup, I like to use the Pacifica Coconut Water, Mincellar Water, this is the um, cleansing tonic. It's rinse free cleanse, remove a stubborn makeup and tones the skin. So it's for all skin type and it's amazing because it smells like coconut. I love it. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's coconut water. It is coconut water guys. Like, yes. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. The other things from Pacifica that I've been obsessed with is their purified coconut water cleansing towelettes. These are, uh, they are, this one's right here, excuse my finger. <laughs> These are really amazing too to remove makeup. What I like to do is I like to put a little bit of the water into the wipe and just whoop, one swipe. Everything's gone. Then the other thing I've been loving about Pacifica is their underarm deodorant wipes. Yo, guys, you're in Florida. He is bad. You need to touch up. You need to freshen up sometimes. And these things have been on my purse all summer long and I've been obsessed with these underarms deodorant wipes like these are really really good. I'm not saying that they be stinky down there I just say that you just sometimes need to freshen up and retouch that's what I'm trying to say all right like ooh Francis te pestan sobacos your armpit smells <laughs> so the next thing we're moving on to skincare we're still talking about skincare are these creams that I've been obsessed with lately this one right here is the bye bye retinas for sensitive skin this pretty much helps your retinas. So if you have rosacea, rosa rosacea, I don't really know how to say that word. Don't come at me in the comment section. So um, it's this green 
pasty cream and I don't have that skin problem but I do sometimes get very irritated and my skin turns really red and guys I'm not gonna lie two applications of this thing my face cleared out no lie I was like yo so I only use this when my face is starting to act up and get a little bit red I use that one the red bye bye redness but my everyday um moisturizer is confidence in a jar which is this one you guys seen it it's it's been around for a while and I have been loving it I just broke this one out brand new so I've been using it um, non-stop so the other cream that I've been obsessed with is also from it cosmetics I think my I think my um, skincare it consists of it cosmetics and it consists of pixie beauty guys honestly speaking like these things are no joke the next thing I use for my under eyes is this cream, which is the Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a, um, this is, this is a smooth, brightening, and deep puffs cream for under the eyes. So this was pretty amazing. Um, it doesn't say that it removes your dark under eyes, but it just helps to brighten your under eyes. And it also helps to deep puff. So that's pretty amazing. Sometimes I wake up with puffy under eyes, so I just love it. All right, so for, that's for skincare. Let's move on real quick to hair care. So I know you guys have noticed that I went back to black hair. It's the thing is that I was trying to go to a, like an ombre color to eventually go to a drastic change, like a pink or a gray color on my hair. And that has been my dream for so long now. But unfortunately, I think I'm having hormone problems. <laughs> but I've been having so much like symptoms and I'm just like so tired of the symptoms. I'm just like, oh my God. So the last thing I end up doing was going to an endocrinologist, which are the people who um, mess with the thyroids and hormones. Because the last thing that happened to me was um, I went to get my hair retouched uh, to like get it lighter. I told the girl, listen, my hair is frying up because I keep coming here every month. So my hair is starting to fry. So can we just go as light as possible so I can come back in like a year, like a year, like three or four months so my hair can get a break. Guys, long story short, when she finished doing my hair and she blow dry it, my hair did not grab onto none of the products that she put nothing there was not a single change of color in my hair so when I get home and I tell my mom what happened she was like listen that has to do with hormones like your hair is not grabbing on the color like something is going on so I ended up going to the endocrinologist and she was like listen I don't think you have thyroid problems but I think you're low on some sort of um hormone and she sent me home with some pills and she said that um it's called addison disease you can look it up it's nothing that i'm gonna die or nothing that i'm gonna have to cope for the rest of my life i just pretty much she sent me home with some hormones to just kind of like it's these gland glands here the adrenaline glands are not producing enough hormones and trust me i was like what that happens so i had to end up dyeing my hair back to black because it's just gonna be a waste of time trying to dye my hair blonde because it's not gonna grab it and I'm just gonna keep damaging my hair more so I had to go back to black at the moment until I can fix my hormone issues and my hair is fried so I've been trusting my hair to these products right here Hask. Hask has been my saver I've been using these masks on my hair and guys like no joke my hair is starting to feel a lot better and it's starting to look a lot healthier I still have like my ends are still a little bit fried because you're not gonna fix them like BAM but you definitely can see a huge difference the one I've been using is the keratin protein soothing deep conditioner from Hask and the other one is the argan oil from Morocco which is an intensive conditioner treatment as well they have a whole bunch of these things and I am obsessed with them I cannot get enough of these things and also I've been using the their oil treatment they're also from Hask this one is the nourishing shine hair oil this is what it looks like I've been trusting my hair to Hask and I have to say guys I love love it. you can definitely you can definitely feel a difference like I'm not lying and then the dry shampoo that I've been using is the Shea Seed Long Lasting Oil Absorbing Volumizing Dry Shampoo and it's also from Hask. 
I'm gonna leave a link to find all these products down below but you can also find them at Target and Ulta so you don't really have to dig into online and order online if you don't like if you don't like ordering from online so you can just order from Ulta I mean you can just walk into Ulta and you can find these things okay so let's jump real quick into um, makeup all right so for makeup let's go ahead and start with uh, primer I t always tend to go back to this primer this primer right here is one of my holy girl primers there we go this is this Matchbox photo finish primer I am obsessed with this primer guys like I always use other and others but I always end up coming back to him because he is a bomb um, blah, blah, blah. let's do foundation right now the foundation that I've been loving is the um, Milani two-in-one also my LA girl I mix both of them I mix my LA girl with this one right here but this is a pretty good foundation also they're from the drugstore but these two right now are like bomb.com uh, for my brows I have been obsessed with the new brow power powder by it cosmetics and the brush this is what I've been using on my brows lately and I have been loving it I love it this is their universal transforming taupe powder and their brush I have been obsessed is what I've been using on my brows lately and I feel like I finally got a good color on my brows because you always have a love and hate relationship with brows and you know but for now I feel like my brows are getting there with this product and to set my brows I love the uh, brow gall by Tonya Crooks this is the brow gel I feel like this is the best brow gel that I've tried in my life it's like literally hairspray to my brows and I am obsessed with it then of course you guys already know I'm obsessed with the Shape Tart concealer um, nothing beats this concealer I'm almost running out and I have to go buy me another one I probably make sure I buy like five of these <laughs> because they are so good okay a Tarte Tarte hi hello you don't know me but I love your concealers <laughs> these concealers are amazing all right, the next thing is for the eyes, and they are this a beautiful uh, duo. I should say, um, husband and wife. My all-time favorite holy girl mascara is the It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Mascara. Bomb mascara, guys, bomb. And I've been obsessed with their liner. This is just a recent launch from It, Cosme it Cosmetics. It's their It Superhero liner. Look how thin that line, is, that tip is. Yo this is really really good I love this liner these two things are like bomb.com the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually supposed to be a skincare but whatever it's this little jar right here guys this is the bye bye breakout it's a treatment spot concealer it dries your breakout they have um, a sort of like a uh, it's a full coverage treatment concealer so it has it has something that it dries out your breakouts and yes I've tried it you guys probably won't believe me but I have broken out and I put this on and BAM dries it out I'm like sometimes you know what I do sometimes after I apply all my night care on uh, my before I apply all my skincare routine at night I wash my face I apply a little bit of this onto my breakout and then I apply everything else I'm not kidding it says it's a concealer so it's kind of makeup but I feel like listen you can dry this thing while I'm sleeping so this thing is really really good guys I really really like that I like no joke of course I had to talk about the Desi and Katie collab with Dose of Colors um, I've been loving every single shadow of their palette the girls I've been loving every single shadow if you guys saw my review I'm not a fan of the of the actual like packaging I just thought the packaging was quite cheap but whatever we'll get past that because I'm not using the packaging to apply makeup but of course I've been loving the girls and my holy girl highlight is the Ofra because Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive this is like my holy holy girl um, highlight so guys for shadows I've been lately loving the um, loose shadows from Colourpop this is this I got it on my it's a C palette I got it off a boxy charm then I depotted some of the um, loose shadows that I got from uh, Colourpop these three right here this one and this one actually this four right here this four right here are from the I love Sarai collection I just thought um, you know just 
put them in here just to make sure that just to see the freaking palette full because I only own like four other five other um, ColourPop shadows but I've been digging um, these shadows lately I feel like because I put them in this palette that I can see inside I kind of have like like I kind of gravitate towards them a little bit more now because I can see what I have so I think this is a very good investment guys I think you should invest if you don't have Z palettes one last thing I have been I've been obsessed with the Pixi Beauty and Mariam Globe and Bronze Palette. This is my go-to bronze palette. This is what I use to contour my face lately. All right, guys, so that's it. I don't think I have any other beauty product to share with you guys. As far as my life update, honestly, the reason why I haven't been recording a lot on YouTube is because for this past month and a half, I haven't been myself. I haven't been feeling better. I haven't been feeling good. Like you, like you know, I've been in and out of doctors. I've been in and out of hospitals. I just recently, I just recently got an endoscopy done to find out what's going on with my stomachs and what's going on with my nauseas and. Um, with the whole fact that I'm losing um, appetite and all that, but thank God everything on my stomach came back normal. No bacteria, no cancer, no um, ulcer, just a little inflammated. Um, so just a little gastro, just a little mild gastritis. So yeah, just put my health in the hands of God. There's no better doctor than Him, and my trust is fully on Him. And I know that sooner or later I will feel better. So yeah. I hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and don't forget to follow me on my social media sites, my Instagram and Snapchat. That's where I, that's where I'll be. That's where I'll be. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for sticking until the end. If you like this video and you guys want to see a little bit more of my favorites and you guys want me to do like a full life update, just let me know. Let me know in this comment section below. Just give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to be part of my Francis Michelle family here of my girlfriends here on YouTube. So thank you guys for your love. Thank you guys for sticking until the end. Muchas veces. I'll see you ladies on my following video.